The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, oftentimes hailed as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, has changed how we decipher the universe since its launch. The telescope has given an exceptional viewpoint on the universe, uncovering privileged insights and revealing destinations previously unimaginable by humanity. The JWST's cutting-edge technology has permitted analysts to explore the farthest reaches of space, investigating worlds, stars, and planetary systems formed billions of years ago. This piece delves into the various aspects of the JWST, from its mechanical marvels to its outstanding discoveries, and discusses how it has reshaped how we understand the universe. To appreciate the importance of the JWST, understanding its ancestor, the Hubble Space Telescope, is key. Launched in 1990, Hubble provided astronomers with the first clear pictures of distant galaxies, nebulae, and stars, free from the clouding effects of Earth's atmosphere. Hubble's contributions to science are immense, from determining the speed of the universe's expansion to observing the impact of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 with Jupiter. Its deep field images, capturing light from galaxies billions of light years away, have provided us with a brief glimpse into the early universe. However, in spite of its successes, Hubble had limitations. Its primary mirror's 2.4 meter width restricted its light gathering ability, and its instruments were designed for ultraviolet, visible, and near-infrared parts of the spectrum. As space scientists pushed the boundaries of our knowledge, it became clear that another telescope was needed, one capable of observing in the infrared range, where it could peer through galactic dust clouds and detect the universe's first galaxies. The concept for the James Webb Space Telescope began to take shape in the mid-1990s, even before Hubble had reached its full potential. Named after James E. Webb, NASA's administrator during the Apollo era, the JWST was envisioned as the next great observatory, a telescope that would look further back in time than Hubble, capturing light from the first stars and galaxies formed after the Big Bang. The JWST's design posed significant engineering challenges. Unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth at an altitude of around 570 kilometers, the JWST would be positioned at the second Lagrange point, L2, about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. This location offers a stable environment with minimal interference from Earth's heat and light. However, it also means that the telescope cannot be repaired or serviced by astronauts. To observe the faint, distant objects it was designed to study, the JWST required a much larger mirror than Hubble's. The plan was for a segmented mirror made of 18 hexagonal beryllium segments, coated with gold, giving the telescope a total diameter of 6.5 meters. This mirror had to be folded to fit inside the Ariane 5 rocket that would launch it and would only unfold once the telescope reached its destination. Additionally, the JWST required a sunshield to block heat and light from the sun, earth, and the moon, keeping the telescope's instruments at their operating temperature of just a few degrees above absolute zero. The sunshield, the size of a tennis court, is made of five layers of a special material called captain, which can withstand extreme temperatures. After years of planning, delays, and budget overruns, the JWST was finally launched on December 25, 2021. The launch was a momentous occasion, watched by scientists and space enthusiasts worldwide. The Ariane 5 rocket carried the telescope into space, and over the next 30 days, the JWST embarked on a complex, carefully orchestrated series of deployments. The sunshield was the first major component to unfurl, a process that involved numerous instruments and thousands of parts working in concert. Any failure could have doomed the mission. After the sunshield was successfully deployed, the mirror segments began to unfold and align themselves. This process took several months, as each segment had to be positioned with nanometer precision. By mid-2022, the JWST had completed its deployment and alignment, and its instruments were ready to begin collecting data. The first images released to the public were truly remarkable. The telescope's ability to observe in the infrared revealed the universe in a new light, with stunning clarity and detail. One of the primary objectives of the JWST is to observe the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang billions of years ago. These galaxies are so distant that their light has been stretched into the infrared range due to the expansion of the universe, a phenomenon known as redshift. Hubble could observe these ancient objects, 
but the JWST's infrared capabilities allow it to see them in unprecedented detail. In its first year of operation, the JWST made several significant discoveries. One of the most significant was the detection of galaxies that existed only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies appeared larger and more developed than previously thought, challenging existing theories of galaxy formation and evolution. Scientists had long believed that the first galaxies were small and gradually grew over time by merging with other galaxies. However, the JWST's observations suggest that some galaxies formed much more rapidly and grew much larger than expected. This discovery has prompted astronomers to reconsider their models of how galaxies form and evolve. The JWST also captured images of cosmic structures never seen before. For example, the telescope observed the intricate details of the cosmic web, an enormous network of filaments that connects galaxies across the universe. These filaments are made of dark matter and gas and are the scaffolding upon which galaxies form and evolve. The JWST's observations of the cosmic web have provided new insights into the large-scale structure of the universe and the role of dark matter in shaping it. The JWST has also revolutionized our understanding of star formation and stellar evolution. Stars form in dense clouds of gas and dust, which block visible light. However, infrared light can penetrate these clouds allowing the JWST to observe the process of star formation in unprecedented detail. One of the telescope's key targets was the Orion Nebula, a stellar nursery located about 1,344 light-years from Earth. The JWST's images revealed numerous young stars, some still embedded in their natal clouds. These observations have provided new insights into how stars form and evolve, as well as the processes that lead to the formation of planetary systems. The JWST has also observed the final stages of stellar evolution, capturing breathtaking images of dying stars and the nebulae they create. These observations have provided insights into the processes that govern the end of a star's life, including the formation of white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. Perhaps one of the most intriguing aspects of the JWST mission is its ability to study exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. The telescope's instruments are capable of analyzing the atmospheres of these distant worlds, searching for signs of habitability and potentially even life. In its first year of operation, the JWST made several key discoveries related to exoplanets. One of the most striking was the detection of LHS 475b, an exoplanet located about 41 light years from Earth. This planet is roughly the same size as Earth and orbits its star in just two days. The JWST's observations revealed that LHS 475b has a thick atmosphere, possibly composed of water vapor, carbon dioxide, or methane. The JWST has also observed other exoplanets with varying atmospheres. Some of these planets have thick, cloudy atmospheres rich in methane and other hydrocarbons, while others have clear atmospheres dominated by hydrogen and helium. These observations have provided valuable information about the diversity of planetary systems and the conditions that might support life. One of the most captivating questions in cosmology is whether life exists elsewhere in the universe. While the JWST cannot directly detect life, it can search for biosignatures, chemical markers that might indicate the presence of life. For example, the detection of oxygen or methane in an exoplanet's atmosphere could suggest the presence of biological processes. The JWST's ability to study exoplanets has opened a new era in the search for life beyond Earth. In addition to its studies of distant galaxies and exoplanets, the JWST has captured images of some of the most beautiful and mysterious objects in the universe. One of the most striking is the Tarantula Nebula, a massive star-forming region located in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way. The JWST's images of this region reveal intricate filaments of gas, glowing clusters of young stars, and the remnants of supernova explosions. These observations have provided new insights into the processes that drive star formation and the life cycles of massive stars. The JWST has also captured stunning images of nebulae such as the Eagle Nebula and the Crab Nebula, revealing details that were previously hidden from view. These images have not only captured the public's imagination but also provided valuable data 
for astronomers studying the birth and death of stars. While the JWST has made tremendous strides in our understanding of the universe, its journey has not been without challenges and controversies. The telescope's development was plagued by delays and cost overruns, with a final price tag reaching nearly $10 billion, much higher than the original estimate. These issues spark debates among mainstream scientists and policymakers about the project's feasibility and value. Some critics argued that the funds allocated to the JWST could have been better spent on other scientific endeavors, while others contended that the telescope's potential for groundbreaking discoveries justified the expense. The James Webb Space Telescope's mission is not only a testament to the advances of modern science and engineering, but also a reflection of humanity's innate desire to explore the unknown. Through the JWST, we are looking deeper into the universe, uncovering its earliest secrets, and advancing our search for life beyond our planet. As the telescope continues to send back data, it promises to reshape how we understand the universe in profound ways. In the coming decades, the JWST will undoubtedly inspire new generations of scientists, engineers, and visionaries to look up at the stars and wonder what lies beyond. As we look forward, the future of the James Webb Space Telescope holds immense promise. The data that the JWST continues to return will fuel research for years to come, enabling scientists to further investigate the mysteries of the early universe, the formation of galaxies, stars and planetary systems, and the potential for life elsewhere in the universe.